Good morning, Jackets. My name is Michael Walker, a.k.a. Danny Darko. And I'm Nick Island. And YJP News starts right now. Yeah, baby. Every Monday and Wednesday, there will be tutoring in Ms. Harv's room from 2.15 until 4.15. If you need to get your grades up, make sure you're there. Jackets, there's only three days until homecoming, so make sure you get your tickets. They're now $25, so if you wish to attend, turn in your money. Now let's take it to the word of the day and today in history. Jackets, you're running out of time to get your grades up. October 28th is going to be the last day of the first nine weeks. If you're interested in seeing where your grades stand, go on to mypolkschools.net. And Jackets, there's an ACT test this weekend. So if you signed up, make sure you're there and make sure you are studying. Now the next ACT test date will be December 12th, and the last day to sign up for that will be November 6th. Now let's take it to some test taking tips. Thanks Nick. My name's Chris Cavanaugh, and today I have some tips for all of you statistics. I mean students. to have a good breakfast even though you'll probably only have like 10 minutes to prepare it and the reason for that is because it's very difficult to focus on your test when you're starving you need to be confident it's just a test that counts as 30 percent of your grade and determines your placement next year and could cause you not to graduate no pressure other than that you're fine don't mind the countless hours of instruction that you've already lost to testing just like this not saying any names, but some of those tests won't even count. Well, Jackets, I have tested your patience enough today. Now let's bring the show back on to Michael. If the ACT isn't your cup of tea, how about try out the SAT? There's going to be an all-new one taking place in March 2016, but there will be one test day before then, and that's going to be January 23rd. Other than that, you can sign up for the May 7th test day or the June 4th. Now, let's take it to sports. Jackets. Most of our fall sports have just begun ramping up, and they've all had very great seasons, so we want to congratulate them all on that. But speaking of great seasons, our varsity and JV volleyball has just wrapped up their season this past Monday at Districts. They did a great job there, and they had a great season, so we just want to congratulate them on that. Also, Jackets, the JV football team will be wrapping up their season this Thursday at 7.30 with their game against Lake Wells High School at Lake Wells High School. We want to congratulate them on a great season and hope that they go out and get a big win to end their season with a bang. And last but certainly not least, our varsity football team will be taking on Bishop Moore this Friday at 7.30 here at the Hive for our homecoming game. So make sure that you all come out and support your jackets, enjoy homecoming, and make sure that you're safe when you're going to homecoming following the game here in the gymnasium. All right, jackets, I'm Justin Barnes, and that's all I had for you today. But now let's go ahead and toss it over to Jay to see if he has any more information on our homecoming game and the homecoming dance coming up this Friday. Hello, jackets. It's your boy Jay bringing you, you, a public service announcement about this week's home game. Come out, support the team. We got a pep rally this Friday, 
go Barto, but I'm here to ask a couple of the football players about how this week's game going to go. Let's see, I predict a W just like I did last week. I mean, as long as our offense, you know, scores points and our defense keeps the team off the field, we're going to get another W. I promise you that. Stuff, I think my defense is going to get a lot of stops. Our offense is going to be scoring. I mean, if we keep, we keep confident, no turnovers, and everything go right as we plan, as a great game plan, we should come out with a great W. Go Jackets. Well, there you have it, Jackets. Two very real responses from your very own student athletes, Juan Honda Ron and Big Bryson Owens. We're going to crush the opposition this week, and we're going to crush homecoming against Bishop Moore. Hey, Levi. Hey, Brenna. I was wanting to ask you something. I was, you know, homecoming is coming up, and I was, I was, I was wondering it. I was definitely not. It's been a long I don't think I'll ever have a date to homecoming. Out you, my friend. Jackets. As you can tell, the library has been closed the past couple days, so that means standardized testing has started. I know you guys don't like it, but we have to do it. So make sure you are giving it your all. Thank you for joining us on YJP News today, Jackets. If you want anything aired, go ahead and email it to yjpnews at gmail.com. And make sure you stay tuned for Channel 1 News and the quote of the day. I'm Nick Island. And uh, I'm Michael Walker. Be sure to vote for me this homecoming. Um, no, no, no. Make sure you vote for me. Listen, dude. I got a way this can work for the both of us. Nick Island, will you be my queen this homecoming? I will. <laughs>